just wanted to jump on here and do a real quick uh, social media review. Actually, I'm doing it for a friend of mine, so uh, I'm a little tired. Um, if I look a little tired, I look a little rough. It's because it's uh, kind of late and I should already be in bed, uh, but I felt kind of an urgency to do this since it was for a friend of mine, and I just wanted to help them out. Um, and I thought there was a couple things they'd want to know about sooner than later. This is going to be for a property in Cincinnati. It's a luxury apartment building. Um, and it's got a lot of other special things to it. But this is kind of what brought it onto my radar, got my attention in the first place. Uh, of course, this is a, a Facebook mobile ad that I snapped a screenshot of. And the reason I, I snapped a screenshot of this, and, and I'm definitely not picking on my friend here, but... Um, I want to do the hard things first and fast. That's just how I like doing things. So I like to just get the bad stuff out of the way first. So she's doing a lot of great things. Um, and I'm not even sure what's going on here, but this is what kind of brought it to my attention. So this is a suggested page to me and it's a sponsored ad. So we know that somebody's paying for these Facebook ads. Um, and if, but if you see right here, the, the thumb is blue, the thumb up here, the like button's blue. It's because I've one of the 371 people who've already liked that page. So what bothers me about that is there's a chance that someone is spending money and targeting these 371 people, including whoever they're looking for to get activity on their Facebook page. To me, that's a waste of money uh, to spend money. I've already liked it, so you don't need to suggest that page to me. If you're paying to suggest that page to me and I've already liked it, to me, it's a waste of money. Now, there could be an exception to this rule, um, possibly if this is a retargeting ad because I've been on the website, which I have. Um, that's to keep the branding in front of me, then that might be okay. That might be smart. I got a feeling it's not, and I could be wrong, but I had a discussion with her about Facebook's power editor, and she didn't seem to be aware, really, of too much in the Facebook power editor. So that's kind of what brought this all to my attention. I just wanted to reach out to her and let her know real quick if that was going on, how she could correct that and make sure she wasn't wasting money. You know, you don't want your friends to waste money. You want to help them out. Um, and then so I just went ahead and decided to help out in some other ways. So another thing that caught my attention tonight and kind of really got me um, thinking, I better do this before I go to bed. Um, even though I'm so tired, I've been getting up early for the gym and, and doing this, this intermittent fasting and man, I just have no energy. <laughs> so, uh, anyhow, I know you guys could care less about that. Um, but when I looked for the apartments, I actually Googled Cincinnati luxury apartments and this top ad from Google ads popped up and I was like, yes, that is awesome. So she's killing it. My girl's killing it. And, and she's got, you know, the, the only ad up here in the top spot. And that's just awesome. It's great. Then I clicked it to see if it was taking me to a landing page or to the website. And bam, the page can't be found. So now I've got two items that I'm in question. Are they spending money for ads to show them to people who already like the page? And are they paying for the top spot? on Google for luxury apartments and then having people click it only to get to a page um, that has nothing. So then they're going to scroll right down to the next luxury apartment listing and they're going to click on that and go there. And it's just not a good look um, when you're a luxury apartment to have people clicking on this ad and you're paying for every click. And my gosh, Google AdWords is so much more expensive than Facebook clicks. Um, so I'd hate to imagine that, that they are wasting money on that as well. So those two things, thinking that my friend might be wasting money, is what's got me up um, so late at night and, and trying to help and get this video ready for them. Um, so uh, let's jump on over to the review that I did for them. So we got it pulled up right here, and I can move through this super fast. So done really well actually if you look here it's got a 75 score um, so it's a it's a passing grade it's a pretty high score actually for for Facebook pages nowadays if you looked average in real estate's 49 it's, it's an industry that doesn't seem to be doing very well um, similar brands 49 and then average like rank 52 so well ahead of the competition are there better Facebook pages out there for luxury apartments and apartment complexes and real estate absolutely there's some that go all the way up to 100 I saw 
um, but definitely above mark and above on average. So kudos to you there. You're doing very well on that. Not a lot of red X's over here. You can see too. I mean, you got the page name set up. You um, set your picture category, you username. You've got your website listed. You've got the about information filled out. You've liked 10 other pages. Most social media uh, business pages that I review um, don't like any other pages. So that's great. Now, one thing I will suggest and drive home on that is that you need to, especially at your building, because I know that you've got other restaurants that and shopping and stuff that inhabit that building and our neighbors. I would talk to them and say how important it is that as at 580, you like their restaurant promotions, you like their shopping promotions, you like stuff and comment on their page. Their customers are going to see your comments and your like, and it's going to make them jump over to your page. Vice versa, so you guys need to start doing that for each other, especially if you're sharing that same building. Um, I think that would be really powerful. But well done on liking other pages as your business page. Um, that rarely gets done. You need to add some milestones. Um, you know, when did you guys open the building? When did you take over? When did a certain restaurant move in? When did you do your $100 million upgrade or whatever it was? Each of those things, you want to add those on there as milestones. When did you do the ribbon cutting ceremony that I saw pictures of? Um, each of those things, go ahead and add those in there. Um, post by page, um, only 0.36 per day. So that's definitely a red flag. You need to be having at least one post per day, um, minimum. So I would definitely get that number up and more consistent. You're not getting any likes, comments, and shares per post. So if we up the frequency of it, and then I also would suggest asking questions of your, uh, potential customers or neighborhood or community or city. So ask people, you got to get creative here. And, and I don't really have time to get real creative here, but uh, you know, what, do, what do you look for in a luxury apartment? What's your favorite thing about our apartments? Uh, what do you wish we had, you know, get some feedback. It's a great time to poll them. Then just ask questions about who's going to this tonight and, and uh, run some contest or whatever you can, you know, um, give away box seats or something, you know, you never know. You could do some really huge things. I think you got a lot of opportunities to give away um, dinners, lunches at the restaurants in your building. They'll appreciate that. You get some Facebook activity. There's a lot of things that you could creatively do. The timing is slightly off. You have uh, some posts that look like 12 to 1500. Um, what is that? 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. Um, 12 to noon something like that you'll need to you'll need to google that i don't know those time frames but it looks like post between 9 and 12 gm time which i believe is really early 5 a.m um i think so five to eight um engage more users so you've got a really um at least with the people who are interacting a really early morning crowd so maybe it's that professional crowd that's up early and checking their phones uh, before they get out and get at it at work. Uh, great length of post between 100 and 500 characters. Um, again, you should ask more questions. That's going to create more engagement. And you actually are using hashtags at times, which is great as well. Um, post by other users. You're letting people post, which is great. Um, you didn't have any messages last month. So, again, that's just the interaction. we got to get those Facebook numbers up. You got to get some uh, questions going, some polls going, some contests going, some interaction going, and then some people will start having more inquiries. Um, and then finally, uh, this is just a repeat of what I said just above. And then the recommendations again: ask your business partners, people in the building, uh, customers, friends, everybody you can to become fans. You can continue running promotions to friends of friends um, as far as to get more likes to the page if you want. By uh, looks like you were probably doing something like that. And you can continue doing that. Um, just you want to make it only to people who haven't already liked the page. And there's a way you can do that in the settings. You can exclude those people. Publish more often, at least once a day. Ask the questions and then, um, you know, just encourage um, that interaction and then, to, and then to improve your timing as well for early morning posts. So um, whoever you have doing that for you, make sure they just get up early and get that done between the, uh, you have to look at what those early morning hours were, but I think they were about like five, five to nine, somewhere in there. So lastly, what I want to do is I want to jump over to the power editor and 
I was mentioning the power editor to you, and I just want to give you a real quick idea of how powerful this could be for luxury apartment rentals. So what I did was I jumped into the power editor back in Facebook, and there's so many options back here. And I'm just going to show you real quick the first one that that came from the hip, shooting from the hip. Um, now, really, you know who your ideal client is. You know who the ideal renter is. You know what their salary is. You know what their lifestyle is like. You know if they're college degree. You know uh, all those different things. You know what movies they like, what whatever characteristics they are, what music they like. There's probably a commonality that you could tell me a lot about your renters that I don't know. So I'm shooting from the hip here. But what I want you to see is that I did just a $5 daily budget on running a, on a uh, like a Facebook ad that would appear in your news feed. Um, and I scroll down here and I put people in the Cincinnati market. Um, so a good radius there in Cincinnati. And then I went adults 18 to 65 i included everybody and women men and women and you can again narrow that down to certain age groups but the reason i left that age so young um, is because i went ahead and chose some demographics so looking at your rent and i think as a financial consultant i remember that we used to recommend that you know 30 percent was the rough number of what you should be spending on rent or home payment of your income um, so looking at what your guys's rent started at from the website, I would say you probably need to be in about a $60,000 or above range in salary to be able to afford to live there. So out of those people in that Cincinnati area that we outlined in the map, I put people that are likely to move and then people who make $50,000 and up. So as you can see, I chose the 50 to 75, the 75 to 100, the 100, 125. I chose all those incomes going up. So those people, they have to make above $50,000 to have this ad even shown to them and live in the Cincinnati market. So $50,000 and above is what we did. Then I broke it down even further and, and, and reiterated they're likely to move. I should remove that from the top one. They're likely to move. They are currently renters or they're currently living in an apartment. So you've got these people with these high incomes. They're already likely to move, uh, possibly. They're, pos they're living in apartments. They're renters. They've been on the apartment finders, apartment rents, apartment guide, apartment list, apartment search websites and Facebook pages recently uh, for rent.com, et cetera. And you can keep going through that deeper and deeper and deeper. Um, so they've, they've definitely been looking around at apartments. And then if we go down just a little bit further, I excluded, so it won't show it to people that Facebook knows are already homeowners and Facebook knows a lot about us. Won't show it to people who work at apartments who listed that on their Facebook, or they know it from some other method or people who have job titles of property manager or apartment locator. I didn't want to show these ads to other people in the industry or your competitors. So we take them out of it. Um, we don't let them see what we're doing. And plus, we know they're not going to come rent from us anyway. So we don't want to waste even a nickel or a dime per click by showing it to those people just because they want to be nosy and snoop around and dive in there and take a look at what we're doing. So doing all of that. So let's look at it again real quick. Just in Cincinnati, making this type of income. We know they're interested in moving or living in an apartment or have been looking at apartment stuff online. At $5 a day, that's going to get us, Facebook estimates, to reach or 850 to 3,600 people a day are going to see that ad. That market that we're talking about, there's 160,000 people in it that make that income, that are, that are looking at apartments or already live in an apartment and seem like they're ready to move minus your competitors, 160,000 people. It's going to take a lot of money on Facebook to exhaust that market. 160,000 people is a pretty big uh, pond to, to shoot for fish in. Um, again, so 850, 3,600 daily reach at $5. Um, probably they're estimating you'll get eight to 51 clicks. So to make this real powerful, you can up that budget. You can lower that budget. You can make it $3 a day, a dollar a day for 30 days. You can go up to $10, $20, $30 a day, however you want. What I would suggest, one of the things too, and this is going to get real complicated and real deep, and this is what I'll end on. You can put a pixel, a retargeting pixel on your website. 
you can run these ads. Anybody that clicks on the ad and goes to your website, you basically will have them captured uh, that you can retarget them with other ads. They've been to your website, so you know they're interested, and then you can make new ads that only go to people who have visited your website. So once you get, you know, a thousand people that visit or two thousand, whatever, in a couple months, then you can just begin to show ads just to those people. It's super powerful. You also can upload that that kind of retargeting information to Facebook and say, without going through all these demographics, and just say, find me an audience that looks like this audience. And it will take that information and look at those people, and then it will build another audience based off that information in the Cincinnati area. So it's got some really super powerful stuff. I just wanted you to see what the potential was back there in Power Editor, if you didn't know. But mostly, I wanted to make sure also um, you've done an outstanding job on, on the Facebook page and the Google ads, but those couple little things I worry you might be wasting money on, I wanted to make sure you wasn't. So I hope that helps you, my friend, and I hope that helps anybody else that watches, uh, especially if you're some type of apartment manager um, or renter or facilities manager or property apartment locator finder, whatever all your titles are, property manager. See, I'm so tired. I hope that's helpful for anybody who watches it. You can use this information to, to virtually just about any type of small local business in any city. So I hope that you're able to pull something from it, and that's real blessings for you. Good night.